Are you filming me? Now I am filming, filming you, filming me. This is gonna be great material. Wait until I share this with the viewers. Film, us filming each other, this is a whole vlog in itself. Man, this is gonna be great. Ooh, somebody passed you by. This is great material. Keep on filming, it's amazing. That is the endangered moose of Utah. <laughs> It's very rare, we must be very quiet, and they are endangered, so no shooting, except with camera. Is camera good? Day off yep. wildlife photography, uh, sneaking up on animals style. Yep, yep, yep. that was a pika, first animal. As of today, yes. Yeah, we saw Chris and Tommy this morning. So, but I don't. They, they don't count. Do they count as endangered? They are endangered. Yeah, because they're pretty rare. Yeah. However, I'm not sure they're worth preserving. Oh, they're wild. Yeah, but they're in their natural habitat. Now, they are. They are. Where they belong. So the search continues here in Salt Lake City. We're still in the same spot as we did the previous vlog. We didn't move. And one hour has passed. We're still watching this beautiful scenery. Hello, oh, guys. Yeah. Hi guys. You want to be in a video vlog? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Mostly Swedish uh, followers. Hello, Swedish <laughs> followers. <laughs> We're Utah natives. Utah, na Utah natives. Beautiful view. Yeah. Hope yeah. you guys enjoy your expedition. Yeah. You're right here, the beautiful Michaela. <laughs> Hello. And I'm Mike. Hope you guys enjoy the day. Awesome. Get it, brother. <laughs> you Have good, a good one. Yeah, you Have too. a good one. Enjoy. <laughs> So far, I think we got a little bit more to go. It's absolutely beautiful here in Utah. Wow, greener than I thought it would be. So there goes my preconceptions. This is what I like to do on days off. This is what happens after a while when you get, get pretty high up now. The oxygen starts to fuck you up. But uh, we're pushing forward and soon we'll be up at the top. Wow. We lost a couple of guys. One of us is gonna die, or not all of us. Yeah, let's everybody split up and look for them. Yeah, let's split up. <laughs> I'll go the, you go that way, Hans. I'm gonna go that way. Yeah. You guys go that way, and we'll just see what we find. Okay, good plan. <laughs> good plan. Bye-bye, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> and there they are. I told them this is how we die. We all split up to try to find you, and then we die. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect horror movie. Yeah. yeah. No, it was uh, it was a nice, and we lost the trail a couple of times, but we, we found it again. figured ways to get around. Well, it's easy when you have a lake to yeah. Yeah. bounce yeah. back yeah. to, you know. But sometimes or the lake into. was a little bit too <laughs> steep. Yeah, 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 stones and rocks. And stuff. Oh well, this is wildlife nature at its finest. We've been out now for three days, no sleep. There's the only food we've been having is berries, and. Finally, full set. Don't stop. You're gonna get the shot, dude. Um, yeah, it's been 
raining a lot. Thunderstorms, snowstorms, avalanches. And now, this is what it takes to become one with nature, my friend. And here's, here's the photo. Now, we are happening onto a rare occasion. This is what, I don't know the English translation, but it's a Svensk Kissepojke we're finding here. They're quite rare here in America. In Sweden, we have them everywhere. But we're witnessing something quite unique, actually. Right in between the, we have the Swedish Kissepojke. wildlife photography. What do you see here before you now? It's a chipmunk. <laughs> no good. It's an animal crafted. Amateur. I just started because Hannes tricked me into it a few weeks ago only in Switzerland. Uh, I always loved the idea, but I sucked at it. Uh, but I figured if I got into the Sony system, which Hannes already had, I could steal some lenses. And hey, you're filming this not Sony system. Bad luck, man. <laughs> no, and uh, yeah, liking it so far. Uh, good to take, have something to do when hiking, and a little bit of extra challenge, and a hobby. I haven't had one of those in a long time. We started when I was 16. And then with some really crappy camera. And then, yeah. I, mean, I like it to do it on the road, you know? Like, get a coffee, get out, shoot some stuff. Very uh, enjoyable, creative hobby, for sure. This was nice. Uh, good walk. Good hike, so few little animals. Filmed the ass of a deer. Filmed another ass of a deer. So a third one. A lot of deer asses. Salt Lake City. We played this city many, many times, and it's always one of the favorite stops of our North American tours. So it's usually loud, warm, and everything it should be, actually, with the show. So I'm really excited. Hell yeah, brother! It's gonna be a great night! Salt Lake City, baby! Can't wait. See you up there. Loud crowd today, so I am expecting miracles and fun. It's gonna be good. Loud crowd today, so I'm expecting miracles and fun.
Casey just got a competition because now Salt Lake City is the loudest on the tour. You know, I uh, for once I have to agree with her. Salt Lake City was wow, the crowd. Thank you, Salt Lake City, for a uh, evening we will late forget. Hell yeah, brothers and sisters, that was fucking fun. Uh, except for my bowling injury, I, I strained my ass, so it was quite hard to play today. But <laughs> it's it's better now. So, uh, but I had a good time. It's always good to come here. The audience is fantastic. You guys are fantastic. Now we are in Denver, Colorado, and pretty much exactly one year ago, we played also in Denver, Colorado, as a kind of a special added show after um, the guitar player Richie Faulkner of Judas Priest had a heart accident on the stage, and the tour with Judas Priest was off and cancelled. We decided in last minute that we tried to add a show. It became in Denver because that's where we were. And we had like a few hours to advertise and announce the show. And uh, we were discussing what kind of set list we said and let's just play everything we know. It happened to be I think two hour 45 minutes show or something like that. And uh, that is until today the longest show we've ever played. Tonight I hope that people will not be disappointed at us that we will not play two hour 45 minutes like we did last time. But if we do that every night we simply uh, wouldn't be able to tour. So, um, but Denver has a special place in our heart and I already hear that the audience is absolutely amazing out there. So I can only like go up there and enjoy this evening. This is actually the second time that Elmer comes out to one of our shows. He was here exactly one year ago and uh, uh, we got in touch thanks to his son. Now his daughter came along and uh, yeah, uh, he presented us with a, with a proof of uh, the missions, the sorties that he had been doing and we were pretty stunned that he, uh, he was very close and flying together with Charlie Brown who we have done a song about um, so that was a little bit special for us Dallas Texas here we go we just realized that we've been here over 10 times right 11 times I am deaf okay Harry's deaf but so, but what Hannes just said is that <laughs> so I think Hannes said something about that we are here now. What Paris is trying to say is that <clears throat> we've been here over 10 times. What they're trying to say is we played here a lot. We played here a lot and it's good to be back. I think Hannes just said that we are a band from Sweden <laughs> and uh, that uh, Tommy here is super happy to be here. Yes, yes th this is the, I haven't played in Dallas since last time. Yes! Here we go. I don't know, man. We're gonna have some fun tonight. April 
Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much. Yep. He's not a short man from Texas. He's a tall boy from Sweden. But that was uh, one uh, hell of a show. Yeah, one hell of a show. What a crowd. And uh, I had a really fun tonight. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Good to be back in Texas. Another one tomorrow. Yes. See you later. Good night. Good night. Well, there were some lights. There's some amplification of things. I think there were some people on stage. Somebody drove in a tank. I mean, you know, it was a show. Oh, you got my strip show today, did you? Ah, uh, you liked it? Yes, you liked it. You liked it. You, you liked it. You liked it. Well, I had fun today. Even though I didn't hear anything through these. Because the audience was so loud that I couldn't hear myself today. But uh, besides that, it's good. I had a lot of fun. Did you have fun? Better than mediocre. Yeah. Did Jens have fun? Uh, yeah, that was, he always <laughs> had fun. Mr. Venkman. See you later.